just grab my helmet. Hello, my friend, it's me, Kiki. And I am so happy to see you on this bright, sunny day because today we are going to... <gasps> Scooter! Millie, hi! Hi, Kiki. Hi. Check it out. My good friend Millie has a scooter. And today we are going to learn all about scootering. Have you ever ridden on a scooter before? Maybe you've seen other kids ride on scooters before. Holy ding, dang, doona. They are so much fun. They are a lot of fun. Right? Millie, can you show us some of your super duper scooter skills? Sure. Okay, go for it. Whoa! Go Millie, go Millie. It's your birthday, it's your birthday. <laughs> Wowzers, you're really good on that thing. I think he wears your scooter. Um, well, Kiki doesn't actually have a scooter. You don't? No, I don't have a scooter. So today we were just gonna watch you scooter. It looks like a lot of fun. I sure wish I had a scooter. <laughs> Do you want to borrow mine? What? Really? Oh, Millie, that is so kind of you. Millie says that I can borrow her scooter. I would love to borrow your scooter, Millie. Why don't you take a turn first, and when you're done, I'll take a scooter turn. How does that sound? Good. All right, off you go. Have fun. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Look at her go. Go, Millie, woohoo. <laughs> She's really good. Woohoo. Yeah, Millie, yeah, Millie. Watch her go, she is so fast. It looks pretty easy, but scootering actually takes a lot of skill. See, you have to balance and you have to steer. To steer, you move your body from side to side. So if you wanna go left, you lean to the left. And if you wanna go right, you lean to the right. Let's watch Millie go around that corner. See, as she turns the corner, she leans her body to steer her scooter. So cool. Good job, Mill. Whoa, did you see that? Millie just stopped her scooter. She did it by putting her foot on the back brake, which pressed down on the back wheel, and that created friction, which stopped her scooter. When Millie was first learning how to scooter, she would put her foot on the ground like this and her foot would create friction on the ground and that's what would stop her scooter. Do you know what friction is? It's a force acting in the opposite direction and it's how we stop or slow things down like scooters or bikes or even cars. Friction is science. I have a great idea. While Millie's finishing her turn on the scooter, why don't we take a quick science break and I can explain friction a bit better. Follow me. Ding, ding. Whee. <laughs> Hello, my friend, and welcome to Science with Kiki, where today we are going to explore friction. Like we saw when Millie stopped her scooter with her foot, friction is when one object rubs against another and creates resistance, like Millie's foot creating resistance on the brake or on the ground. And that is what stopped her scooter. Now we are going to test out the friction of these ramps I've set up. Check it out. So I got a piece of cardboard and I put two different materials on them. I found this little squishy placemat at the dollar store and it's kind of bumpy and spongy. And then this is a piece of really rough sandpaper kind of looks like a road, doesn't it? And then here we just have plain cardboard. So they all feel very different. This cardboard feels smooth, 
The sandpaper feels really rough and gravelly, scratchy. And this feels really soft and foamy and spongy. So in this experiment, we're gonna see how the speed of these wheels change on each surface. So we're gonna run the car on the spongy surface, we're gonna run the car over this little road gravel sandpaper surface and over the cardboard, and we're gonna see the difference in the friction that is created. So if you wanna try this experiment at home, all you need is some cardboard, and to make my ramp, I just propped it up with one book. The ramp doesn't need to be steep, and then I have this little toy car, which maybe you have one of those at home, but maybe you could even like roll a pencil down, or just something that could roll down the surface of the ramp. Do you wanna do it with me? Let's try it out. All right, so my guess in this experiment is that each of these surfaces, one, two, three, are going to create a different amount of friction. So let's start off with the cardboard. It feels quite smooth. So do you think this is gonna make the car move fast or will it be slowed down by friction? I think the car might move fast on this one. Let's test it out together. Ready? All right, I'm gonna let go of the car. Let's see how fast it's gonna go. Oh my gosh, it almost went off the table. It went really fast. All right, so my guess was correct. The car moved really fast on this smooth surface. Vroom. All right, let's test out this next surface. Let's test out the sandpaper. Now it's pretty gravelly. My guess is that the car might move a bit slower than it did on the cardboard. I think a bit more friction will be created and will slow down my car. Should we test it out? Let's do it. Ready, little car? Off you go. Off to the races. <gasps> Check it out, it did go a lot slower. It stopped right here. When it went off the cardboard, it almost went off the end of the table. So more friction was created, just like Millie's foot on the ground. And last but not least, we have this ramp here with this spongy placemat material. What do you think is gonna happen? My guess is this one might create the most friction and the car might stop around here. Should we try it out? All right, my friend, here we go. Ready? All right. Wow, that one went the slowest. The most friction was created on this placemat. So my guesses were correct. So what we learned in this experiment is that the more friction you have on your wheels, the slower you will go. And that's how Millie stopped her scooter with all the friction she put down on the ground with her foot. This was so cool. I loved learning about this. Now we know how to stop on our scooters. Why don't we go ride our scooters? <sighs> Welcome back, my friend. Did you have fun doing some science with Kiki? <laughs> we learned all about friction. So next time you're riding your scooter or your bike or going down a ramp, you'll understand the science behind the friction you create in order to stop. <laughs> Hey, Millie. Hi. And then I turn Kiki. Oh, cool. Let me grab my helmet. Boom. <laughs> All right. Kiki's ready to ride. Millie, do you have any tips for me before I get on my scooter? Yeah. Yeah? Always stay on the sidewalk. Always stay on the sidewalk. And use your feet to stop if you're going too fast. And use my feet to stop if I'm going too fast. Well. We know all about stopping, don't we? <laughs> all right, I'm all ready to take this scooter for a rip. Thanks so much, Millie. Let's get our scooter on. Bye, Kiki. Bye, Mill. Whee! Today, we're gonna take a ride on something really special. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet, okay? I'm gonna let you guess. Ready? It's got three wheels and a long handle. It rolls fast, so you'll need a helmet. It takes you anywhere you wanna go. On a sidewalk or even on a road. It could be green or even pink and blue. There's many colors, I'ma let you choose. It rhymes with cuter, it rhymes with new. 
This is so much fun, I could scooter forever. I mean, I'd have to stop for snacks and bathroom breaks and to visit my grandma and to sleep, but between all those things, I would scooter. <laughs> Crosswalk up ahead. It's time to slow down. That means I'm gonna need some handy dandy friction. Watch this. Both ways. All right, let's go. Thanks, science. Wee! <laughs> Hi, Millie. Hi, Kiki. I had so much fun on your scooter today. Thank you so much for letting me borrow it. You're welcome, Kiki. See you again soon. Bye, Kiki. Bye, Mill. <gasps> I am so grateful my friend Millie lent me her scooter to try it out. Scootering is such a great way to get outside and explore your surroundings. Plus, it is super fun to zoom around on them. <laughs> Today, we learned how to ride our scooter safely and use friction to stop on our scooter. <gasps> Remember this? It's my memory box. It's where I keep all my souvenirs from our adventures together. And every time I look at them, I think of you. Maybe you could make a memory box too. To remember our super duper scootering fun, I'm going to put this picture of me and Millie inside. Zoom. <laughs> Well, my friend, that's it for today, but I can't wait to see you again soon. Remember, wherever Kiki goes, you're always invited. Where do you think we'll go next? <laughs>